Preparing for an interview is never easy, but with this guide, you guys cannot fail. Hello everyone, it's Sam here from Northreach, and this is our how to prepare for the best interview. What you're about to see is all the different tips and tricks that we've gone through for the past 15 years in recruitment. So without further ado, let's get into it. The secret to a good interview is preparation, preparation, preparation. Plan your route. It's so simple. It's going to reduce your stress levels in that morning and there's nothing worse than being late or lost. Research the company and the interviewers. Go on the website. Use social media. Understand who you're meeting, their background, what the company is all about and why you feel you're right for this role. This is key to any interview. They're going to ask you the questions and you don't want to be that person. Um, Make a list of questions that you want to get answered. Have a look over that job spec and show interest in the company and where it's going to be in a few years time and where you're going to fit in. And last and probably the most simple, what to wear. First impressions are so important and count for everything. So make sure your outfit on the day is going to match exactly what the company's dress code is and what's appropriate. Don't forget, footwear is just as important. Mm. So, you've done your prep and now you're ready for the big day. It's all about giving yourself enough time. You wake up early, you get all your things ready the night before, so all you have to do is just get yourself ready. First thing I like to do is check the traffic so I know exactly how long the route's going to take. Make sure you get there 15, half an hour earlier so I can sit down and enjoy a coffee. Grab your notes, grab a working pen, grab your CV, it's all fresh in your mind. Make sure you've had your breakfast so you've got all the energy you need for the interview. When you arrive, make sure you're nice to everyone you meet because first impressions matter. Remember that they work at the company, but you don't. A small thing, but something so many candidates slip up on, turn your phone off. Not on silent, not on vibrate, completely off. This is something that lets down the majority of candidates in interviews. So, you've done your prep and now you're ready for the big day. But don't forget, take a breath. Slow yourself down, compose your thoughts, and walk into the interview knowing that you've got all the confidence and smile. So, the interview's about to begin. Remember, first impressions count for everything. Stand up, confidently introduce yourself, smile and shake the manager's hand. The interview doesn't finish when you sit down. Hold this persona throughout the rest of the process. Get interested, listen to the manager. You've got two ears and one mouth, so remember you should be listening more than you're talking. Show that manager that you've already done your research on the company and on the role. Show them that you want it and that you're interested. Ask questions about the career progression, the opportunity, the company. Make sure that you show that manager that you're here, you're participating, and that you really want it. But most importantly, enjoy it. This is the job you want. Remember, this is a two-way street. Not only does the manager want to know that you're right for them and you're right for this role, it's important that you make sure that the company and the opportunity are the right fit for you. The employer's gonna wanna leave just as good an impression on you as you do on them. So don't be afraid to ask those questions that you've already prepared or seek clarity on points which you don't quite understand. And if you do all of that, you got this. Don't just tell, sell. Great salespeople focus on a product's unique selling point. You need to decide what is yours, what makes you stand out from the crowd, what's going to make them offer you a position over anyone else that they're interviewing. Remember, it's highlights over history, it's results over responsibilities, and it's expertise as well as experience. Arguably, your skills and abilities are just as important as the experience that you have. Articulate your skills, make it relevant to what they're looking for. Be positive, keep your answers and comments positive at all times. Be honest, remember the interviewer is happy to see you based upon what you've put on your CV. So there you have it. All you've got to remember is an interview is a two-way street. You've got to be making sure you get something out of it as much as giving something to the interviewer. And really think about what it's going to mean for your future. Thanks for watching everybody. What did you think? Comment below. If you liked it or if you didn't like it, give us the feedback. And most importantly, subscribe to the page, check us out on the social media and look out for loads of cool content that we're going to bring to you for the future. Thanks very much.